Alexa, play Whitney Houston. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get access to over 50 million songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Blog Talk Radio. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. This is a G-Mix of all the streets. Let's go. These niggas in the game is in the Twilight Zone. What's right is wrong. Things ain't what they used to be. Uh-huh. These niggas in the game is fucking up easy legacy. Why? Cuz must be slipping in his grave. Tripping off these niggas in the game, hella gay. Rock up the shake and put it in lyrical form. I was destined to be the greatest from the time I was born. Hawkins, Hawkins, oh, it's the dopest. Man, that nigga cocaine is hella ferocious. Lose your focus, round dudes claiming they close. So I stay away from niggas like osteoporosis. What? They try to cripple a nigga. Middle finger in the air, sipping on hard nigga. Shit ain't based on skills no more. You got a dick in your ass, you might get played on the radio. So thank God for all the DJs that kept coca alive without the radio play. And I can't forget my fans. Stand up, young Rise, be your own man. This is dedicated. To all my dudes, said I always kept the gangster like Ice Cube. Gangsta we still love. above the law, black mafia life. I keep my West Coast flavor till the day that I die. I keep my West Coast flavor till the day that I die. I keep that West Coast flavor till the day that I die. Why the West is in the twilight zone? Oh. Let's do what we do and don't follow the Jones. Jones, Jones. In the meantime, the West is sick with the flu, so stop sucking niggas' balls, concentrate on you. That ain't a diss, I just tell it like a T.I.E. Stop waiting on Dr. Dre, handle your biz. Stop waiting on Big Snoop, handle your biz. Niggas respect it more when you handle your biz. You got a record deal bragging about the shit that you bought. Your advance ran out, now you a tax write off. Why you barely hear the West on 106 and Park? Like the South came in and snatched the West hard, hard, hard. I take it back to the cloud. Mixed with the zap, Mr. Grip on my lap. My six volt Chevy got crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is really going on? Man, what's really going on? Why the West is in the Twilight Zone? Say what? Let's do what we do and don't follow the Jones. We're taking it all back, y'all. This is like we don't know. Right or wrong. Yo, Crooked, now the West is in the Twilight Get Zone. Get a new right quick, huh? Even though we in the twilight zone, I still 360 dump, get my highlights on. Post the rock players with some white flights on. Nigga, the West gon' be cool long as my mic's on. Yeah, y'all some high price clones. Skinny jeans, necklace full of light bright stones. I pull up in your lane in a tight white drone. <laughs> and get my side swipe on. You tumble down the hill, I'm yelling bye bye home. Take some shots with you, I ignite my chrome. Don't pass the torch, I will light my own. When it's lit, don't call me, man. Why am I wrong? And what you gon' do when the bright lights don't I drive by thrones, I shoot fake kings Take a seat where I belong and put the right guys on Throwing up the West is my life song What the hell is really going on? Why the West is in the twilight zone? Y'all know what the fuck is Do what we do and don't follow the Jones Gotta respect the OGs, man. They know the way. They've been to the mountain shop. That's real. They know the direction of the maze. You're lost right now, baby. Yeah, man. Keep it wet. Yeah, big 
up to all the riders out there. You know, we done crept the gang of grapes to drink this here fine wine. Triple OG style, nigga. Big up to all the DJs. We West Coast riding again, taking that shit right on back, Jack. Yes, sir. Once again, you are now in tune to the world famous G. Lou Show. Live on Blog Talk Radio. Can you dig it? The date is uh, September 14, 2016, man. You know. And tonight, man, it's going down in a real way. You know what I mean? I want everybody, uh, I'm going to give you some time to get it together. Tell a friend, tell another friend, tell a hater, to tell a player, in the words of my homie Sweet Cadillac, right? But we got a very special guest on the show tonight, man. We got the world famous uh, West Coast hip hop legend, the king of G Funk, the king of hooks. You know, the homie Nate Dog, rest in peace. But my nigga Cocaine is, is, is right there, you know what I'm saying? Um, as the greatest to go down in the king of hooks, man. He's been on over 30 plus records, 30 plus million records sold. You know, been on all your favorite artists' songs. He he has several albums himself. Started off with Ruthless Records, Easy E, back in like what '89. You know what I mean? Put out Nickel Slick Nigga on the on the deep cover soundtrack. This is how far my homeboy goes back. When Snoop came out, you heard Cocaine on the same album, Deep Cover. Go back and uh, Google, Google is your friend, right? Nickel Slick Nigga signed with Easy E, Ruthless Records. Uh, the cousin of, of, of my man Hutch, Cole 187 from Above the Law. A lot of people thought he was in Above the Law, but he really wasn't. He was his own artist. But he's been down with Above the Law since the beginning. Been on, been, been on all their classics. Collaborated with Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, um, Eminem. I think he does something with Eminem. You know what I mean? Just everybody you can think of that, that had a stamp in the game, he did it, man. Cocaine. That's my guest tonight, man. So uh, this is a legend, man. So I'm going to school you tonight. If I got a lot of new listeners, youngsters, you know what I'm saying, that may not have heard of him. And I got a lot of OGs that tune in that definitely appreciate this episode. He's been on the show before, man. This is the G. Lou Show. We do this right here. We rep- but I thought it was only right we bring him back, man. He has a new album out right now called The King of G-Funk. He just inked a new deal with the Dirty OGs, you know, Corrupt, Weasel Lope, Big Trade E. Shout out to Big Trade E. He got his album coming out uh, this Friday. Make sure you get that, man. He's going to be on the show soon also. But uh, my man Cocaine um, got a new album out, King of G-Funk, and he's got a new album coming out with the Dirty OGs, titled The Dirty OGs. We got next uh, coming out next month. You know what I mean? So we just want to chop it up with the big homie, man. We just want to drop some real good game tonight. School you on the West Coast history, hip-hop history, cocaine's history and all the things that he's done for hip-hop man you know what i mean homie is definitely a legend man and i i've been rocking with cocaine for years many years many years man he's an og in the game and um i just want to give him his proper respect so that's what we're going to do tonight on the g lu show man you did cocaine king of g fuck tonight on the g lu show west side wednesday the calling number tonight if you tune in on your computer you want to call in and, and holler at the homie the call the number is 914-803-4001 that's 914-803-4001. That's the calling number. You want to call in tonight when we have cocaine on. You want to ask us some questions. You just want to holler at us, and, you know. And I'm going to get in some requests. I want to give a shout-out to my girl, Nicole, out there, man, before I carry on. My girl, Nicole, loyal listener, my girl. You know what I'm saying? It's my people right here. It's her birthday today, you know. So we want to say happy birthday to you, Nicole, and many, 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 many more. And I'm going to get your request on later on. Boo, I got you. You feel me? But I just want to say happy birthday to you. Much respect. Thank you for always showing love to the G. Lou Show. Shout out to my homeboy, uh, Big Diesel, Big DP, Darian Packer. He's down there in Florida right now doing his thing. Much love, homie. Thank you for tuning into the show. Shout out to my homie, Rob Lewis. Uh, shout out to Big Flossy in Long Beach. Shout out to Tweed Cadillac. Also tonight, I'm going to premiere a new song uh, the homie just dropped off to me that I was a, able to be a part of, produced by Tweed Cadillac, featuring my homeboy, Bogart Styles. My homeboy Fusion is called That's Mine. Coming up on his new album. I'm I'm gonna premiere that tonight. Featuring your boy G Lewis, the banger. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff tonight, man. But like I said, it's cocaine's night tonight, man. So it's going down in a real way. Everybody tune in. Shout out to my bro CeeLo out there. Also, shout out to my big homie Big Tweety, Brick City. Shout out to all my Brick City boys tuning in. Turtle, what's up, homie? Player up in Washington. Much love. Right? I just wanna I just wanna get all that out, you know. Show show love to my people before we carry on, man. This is G. Lou Show, West Side Wednesday. You hear that in the background, right? So, so 
Stacey Adams. We're going to do it like this. West Side, yeah. baby. A little something for all the OGs out there that put the foundation together. I was doing this thing before I even knew what to do with this thing right here, you know? But just to let them know what time it is, how we get out. Me, cocaine, and battle cat. I'm going to let y'all know how we do this thing here. Check this out, y'all. We stay on point like Stacey Adams. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Can you dig it? That's real talk, man. You know what? We stay on point like Stacey Adams. That's real talk right there, baby. Stacey Adams. I'm in a three-piece suit, looking too cute, mashing, flashing, looking for a prostitute. Boo-boo, you got that loot? I'm watching you, you watching me. It's all to the gray because it's VIP, and everything in here moving belong to me. The component set was given to me by a pimp buddy of mine. Disco D, he told me, Frisco E, this here gonna be the baddest pimp nigga that you ever gonna see. Colder than film or slim, tilt that brim, Snoop Dogg. Going to sell that trim, keep it cracking like pistachios. Get that money and continue to mash these hoes. And when the players ball roll around again, I'm guaranteed to win. You know why? Cause we with stay on point like Stacey Adams. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. You know why? We stay on point like Stacey Adams. You know, that's all we know how to do. Stacey Adams. Feet up from the feet up. Not only that, but uh, make it spectacular. Put on my black cape and look like black. You look. smack you up with the shit that I drop. 911, call the cops. This bitch snitch. Ain't that a bitch? I can't trust nobody in the summer, my bitch. I get rich on the fakers who hate. Baking my cake. Then catch the Lakers at 8 on Channel 9. Pop a bottle of wine. Then at 10, hit the club with my nephew Dub. 11.30, talking dirty to this little birdie. I'm trying to get mine early. I can't be seen with your girlie. Continue to mash these hoes. I keep it cracking like pistachios. I get the money first with no rehearsal. Snoop Deagle Double G, still controversial. And I... Stay on point like Stacey Adams. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Feel me? Hell no. You know why? That's all we know, baby. Cheat up from the feet up. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is our radio station, 187.4 FM on your dial. And you're tuned in to that brand new Snoop Deal Double G. We stay on point like Stacey Adams. Want to give a shout out to all the double OGs out there that put the motherfucking seeds in the grass. To grow this thing here that we call gangster rap. Without y'all, we'd be nothing. Y'all keep it popping and keep it locked right here. 187.4 FM on your dial. The station that keeps it crack I like it. Seven days a week. Acting bad up in here, y'all. Got a special guest up in the studio right now. We won't say his name, we just let him do his thing. We stay on point like Stacey Adams. That's right, y'all. Cocaine. It's going down. cocaine in the motherfucking building tonight, man. It's going down in a real way. Pomona's finest right now. The West Coast king of hooks. Besides the homie recipes, Big Nate, dog. Shout out to Long Beach. Shout out to my homie Big Flossy. I see you checking in, boy. We're going to check in with Flossy in one minute, but I'm trying to warm him up with the homie cocaine, man. All his classics that he did. He's about to check in in one minute, but check this out. Let's take him back. Bye. Bye.
check this Mac out. Bet your boyfriend ain't knowing that I'm steadily going your back out. Watch me track out on these niggas and bounce out on these hoes. Get at them like, what's up, trick? You know how it goes. Friday night. The club was about to close and I was looking fabulous. So I got up the stretch about to catch me one of these straddlers. You east side dog and we barking, not simping. Young hogs, about that time to start this parking lot pimping. I keep that thing hot, posted in the same spot. Nothing but my khaki shorts, house shoes, boxes, and my swing shot. I'm from the home of the riot. That's before the peace died, but I'm still hollering out, east side. What y'all busters gon' do when the pimps, bangers, and hustlers smash on you? It ain't about who's selling the most game, put us all together, nigga. This is one thing. If you can't hang, say the fuck out to this and bitch, I'm ghetto fabbed out. So fuck politicking, waiting for a chance, and this shit'll never happen. Time is money, and when you get it, keep it cracking. Are you here, bitch? With my sweet twist, I keep the good year grip, so the dubs don't slip. If you want my claims, I think you best to make a change. So close your eyes when I let my back end hang. It's not the I ride to the motherfucking wheels fall off. Goldie's got Dayton's, Goldie's got Dayton's. I said, oh, to the turf, I've been a goddamn fool. Old school motherfucker breaking jaws and rules. Choose the bang, who's to blame but myself in the set? All my peers through the years steady, get they wet. Give me a rep, that's what I wanted most of my life. Did it all like a hawk, so I'm toting my stripes. Will I quit it? I'm committed to the day I drop. Slanging rock, spraying shots, saying fuck the cops. Locked up in the Chevy and my switches is hot. Dana's hang as I swing on the bitches I spot. Bandana on the antenna, swinging and riding. East side, ghetto life, it's a vibe. Me and my brother had to walk to school. To school. I used to get hand me down close to Joe Blue. A couple of dickies with some croaker sacks. Damn, cuz I can't believe my camp so gave me that. Had a nigga looking G yeah, up with yeah. a scarf on my head, still a sheets on my bed. Uh-huh. Eat the lone sandwiches without no motherfucking brain. Uh-huh. I stole a pack of chips with the big homie brain. Yeah. Now we sipping on some Kool Aid. I got suspended from school, Dang. but cussing out the teacher's aid. And now I'm about to get a weapon, but you know I'm steady whooping on the side where they ride the most. East side in the beach, yeah. west side of the coast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we get on like a motherfucking hot butter toast. toast in the morning with some government cheese. government cheese. We keep it ghetto like a nigga shooting dice on the knee. Get your money first, rule number one. Hello, living it up is living life in the ghetto. Yeah, we were born, coming up from the ghetto. Yeah, we were born, coming up from the ghetto. Yeah, we were born, coming up from the ghetto. Yeah, we were born, coming up from the ghetto. Coming up soon, also stay on the lookout for that. I'm gonna go to the phone lines right now, check in my big homie from Palm Beach. Yo, what's up with it? Big Floss, what's cracking, homie? Oh, I'm just tuning in, trying to get my archives together. You know, I stay studying. For sure, for sure, man. You know, uh, you know, we definitely got the only cocaine in the building tonight. Legend. Legend. You know, and I'm just taking no, him back I'm down memory lane right now. All the work he's done, he definitely put it down with the east side of the long beach. You already know that. Oh, man. Oh, that's actually in the get. Had me twisting and shouting on them gold ones, man. <laughs> there it is. There it is. My nigga, Big Floss, man. Big Floss, man. Big Floss in the building. Fuck love, Floss. You going to be up in the minute shortly. When he comes on, I'll bring you back in the holler at him. It's all good. I just want to give my respect. For sure, for sure. There it is. Oh, there it is. Westside Wednesday. We're going to keep taking you back down memory back. lane until my guest comes back on. He's coming on in one minute. But I'm going to take you back down memory lane. Uh, like I said, he, he, he's done all, he's done uh, hooks and uh, collabs with all the all the best from the West, man. So uh, this is no different. I'm, I'm going to do it for the homie game right here. It's a throwback. Hard lift for cocaine. Westside, baby. Dre, you must have been off that Hennessy when you did this one, nigga. Hard lift. With a little bit of lemon juice on ice, on ice, on ice. 
40 bottles upside down Like niggas with dead homies to the city like my folk pound Niggas thinking I'm drunk Reach for my NWA chain and get your ass beat with the pump Tell security is game plus 50 Any problem me get fucked up every night like Bobby do with me Fuck popping Chris Tell, I got a bottle of Henny And me and my nine stay together like Hardaway and Lil Penny I ain't here so you can ask about him or Dre I came to see some bitches shake their ass like Beyonce So let me be ho for a minute Get up in your hoe for a minute You could be my hoe for a minute Like I'm Diddy, BJ Low for a minute From the windows to the wall, get low while I'm in it All I gotta do is hit him with a Jay-Z line Like you deserve to be my sunshine On the floor She said details However at the party is But make sure that you see how friends before Before, before Spend a hundred dollars, take a bitch to the Hyatt Then treat her like Buster, light her ass on fire I'm a gangster, ma I wanna see you wiggle your butt cheeks Both hands around your ankles, ma All I wanna see is ass and tits Shake it like they do in Magic City When T.I. and that motherfucker I'm like 50 P.I. and this motherfucker you see them gold bees on that Porsche truck. I'll show you why gangsters fuck. My 45 to the back of your weed, both of your arms and handcuffs. Take a bottle of Cisco to the head, see how you like getting fucked with a pistol to your head. Tell your girls how I fuck your brains out. We can do a menage a trois, pull the whips and chains out. i tear that frame out. I ain't no stunt man, i pull that range out. I on the floor, she said details, however I the party is, but make sure that you see how friends before, before, before. Got 40s like the liquor store. Pour it on your weave like that bitch in the G thing video. You look wet, let me help you out your Von Duchess. I know you used to niggas spinning, but tonight I'm fucking. The truck stopped the rim spin, I know they hate me, fuck them. This killer Cali nigga haters come a dime a dozen. Load them shells, then I get drunk, pissy. This bottle of Hennessy got me wanting to fuck Missy. I'm a gangster, I can turn the bitch out. Play with a pussy, then drop ecstasy in the crush style. Sixty seconds later, I'm kicking that bitch out. Then ride down the show with the full fifth out. Stop at the store, that bitch empty my crisps out. Give me 50 feet or I'ma empty this clip out. Niggas wanna know what this LA shit bout. Just visit when the bloods and crisps out. That me more. Hard liquor. Make sure that it's mixed and twisted with a little bit of lemon juice on ice. On ice. On ice. On oh, ice. On oh, ice. Westside Wednesdays, the G. Lou Show. That's cocaine, man. The legend right there. Shout out to the game also. The game is going to be in town. Um, you know, if you're in uh, ATL this week, check out the BT Hip Hop Awards. I'm a, I am might check it out. Not too much hip hop going on, but shout out to BT for even putting on the event right. But game's going to be in town. I think Snoop's going to be in town. They're going to present Snoop with a, a, a hip hop award of some sort. I don't know. But game's going to be in town Friday. I'm going to go check out that show, OG Music. G. Lou Show will be live at the game show. You know what I mean? Um, so look for that this Friday. We're going to go out and show game love and represent. You feel me? So uh, shout out to Cocaine. Also, my guest tonight, he's coming up shortly. You know what I mean? So we're just going to keep taking down memory lane with some of Cocaine's classics and some of his new stuff. You dig? It's West Side Wednesday's G. Lou Show, homie. Y'all know what it is. Rare to blow. Chilling with my homeboy, G. Lou. That's what it do. We stay open and let's stay Seattle. You <laughs> And you do know this, right? Let's go into some cocaine with the homie Nipsey Hustle, man. This is a DJ Ski exclusive. Ow. That I can come from nothing to having it all. Come on, come on, come on. Now it's a possibility. 
that I can have it all and fall, but I stand tall. Check it out, how my young homies and I love shit Just out here tryna make it Moms keep trippin' and a nigga can't take it Six standing on these same corners tryna come up and run up in the bank Who my motherfuckin' gonna like? Freak out a nigga so frustrated All my real niggas are dead or incarcerated Finna fill a nigga with lead and show them what they made me Give them what they gave me back, feel my hate back Click clack, I was addicted to the six shot Feedin' for a fix like a smoker on a big block Hoppin' out, gettin' high when the shit pop Front of big when I was broke, I hustled, learned the game, then I bust. Took my birthday money, your Brian Hurst made it dope. Snitches on the block, always call the cops on us. No one damn will that we got rocks on the highlight. possibility that I can have it all and fall, but I stand tall.
to tune in to OG Sunday, Westside Wednesday. My comrade, G. Lou, is going down. His request number is 914-803-4001. Listen to him live. Listen to me live at 347-855-8436. You want to know about my life, my experience? My progression, hit me up on TweetCadillac.com. And you do know that. Let's get into some new cocaine off his new album, The King of G-Funk, featuring my homeboy, Mitchie Slick, who was on the show about a month or two ago. Check the archives. You can listen to that, right? Time keeps on moving, cuz. Westside Wednesdays, baby. It don't matter how much work you put into this shit, on me, you know. There's gonna be some motherfuckers that don't, don't respect that shit. Now what's Papa the Savior, man without Brutus, what's Jesus Christ without that nigga named Judas? Where, where would a nigga be without this pain, the type of pain to make you blow your brain like Cobain? If it had not been for the man upstairs, I would be dead or in jail, looped out somewhere, cause I come from a long list of gangsters and max, and most blacks in the hood got uncle smoke crack. I look back at time, shake my head, ain't that something? Realizing without God, homie, we nothing. It took a long time for my eyes to be open, but better late than never, nothing changed but the weather, I, I learned a valuable lesson, as quickly you get blessed, you can lose your blessing, you can go high, you can go home, you can give up, when things go wrong, well, I put in what I pay my dues, sometimes you it, sometimes you lose, but once I'm around like a world well, well, make him strong, it's hard to keep moving on, and now I remember when I used to be the light for the party, pit the tab at the bar, Drinks for everybody Niggas that I thought used to be my brothers But when I lost it all Started showing they true colors It wasn't celebrating a nigga to push salt on my name All these MCs I blessed in the shady rap game Felt humiliated Busted and disgusted The whole world's laughing at me Niggas I trust But the same thing Satan designed to kill me Is the same thing God used for a nigga victory Rose out of the ashes Putting paint where it ain't Got the family on deck Tenfold in the bank Couldn't thank you scammers Niggas enough seems odd Because of your wicked way Brought me closer to God Cause these rap niggas in the game And some weirdos Plucking their eyebrows Painting a nigga toes I used to like Boy George records But real niggas don't wear no dresses The game is so vicious Niggas take it up their ass To get Illuminati rich Some niggas pay dues And some niggas don't The Lord is my shepherd And I shall not walk He, he, he restored my soul For his name's sake And yay Do I walk through the valley of the fake Tell me first He said Slick Hope you're ready Rappers get it worse When I was just Down moon It was all church But ever since Recognition I'd have felt cursed When I was a Crash test dummy They all loved me But once the cash Got chunky Someone was like Fuck me Cal- Cali gang banging rules Need to be adjusted The guidelines Ain't in favor Of the homies but They don't understand The industry You could be struggling Just because a nigga Got a deal Don't mean he check boxes. You got a 360 deal You hungry still Supposed to be on tour Nigga I'm OT with peers I-, I get the chills When I think Think of how I could have ended on the foyer yard with all my luxuries suspended. Cause of some shit a nigga that's supposed to be my friend did. Free all the homies that didn't get the memo I did. Trill.
in a real motherfucking way. Cocaine, the king of G-Funk right there, man. Time keeps moving on. Featuring the homie Mitchie Slick from San Diego. Shout out to Mitchie Slick. What's up, homie? This is G. Lou Show, Westside Wednesdays. What I'm about to do right now, uh, since we're still waiting on cocaine to check in, right? Uh, I told you I was going to debut a new single tonight. Uh, so I'm about to do that right now. This is uh, uh, the homeboy uh, uh, Fusion featuring uh, the homeboy Bogart Style from St. Louis. Shout out to St. Louis. We coming to the Lou in a minute to do that St. Louis show, right? And it's featuring your homeboy G. Lou. This is a, a track we all collaborated on. My homeboy, my uncle Tweed Cadillac, put it all together. And he produced the track, man. So uh, this is a new track, fresh off the press, man, uh, called That's Mine, man, uh, featuring G. Lou Bogart Style and the homie Fusion, produced by Tweed Cadillac, man. Check this one out. The shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The flame that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that ounce full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That swag that you got. That's my nigga. I'm original, homie, just like an OG. Started from the bottom, worked my way up to an OZ. Now I'm headed OT, where the birds fly, but I keep a lookout for the plane with my third eye. That's game, homie, serve from the curse side. All I spit is flame raps, niggas know I burn rhymes, and I earn mines, cuz paid hella dues. From the press fest shows to the crush groove, I'm like Sun Tzu, so that means I mastered this. Or the war flow, so that means I'm hazardous. To a whack nigga's self, put them back on the shelf. Blue dickies with a rag to the left. That's G shit, coming from the west side. I'm a brick city boy, so I got a rep mines. To the next time we meet, G's up, G Lou in the pimp lane, doing too much. The car, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The flame that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that ounce full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That swag that you got. That's my nigga. Give it up for the niggas that's still original. Nowadays all these niggas doing is stealing flows. I built my life on hip hop. I take it personal. If I could find ten of you niggas, you be the first to go. You want original niggas be looking pitiful. Every time I spit my flows, I leave them critical. My love for hip hop is unconditional. So you need to pack your bags, get your shit and go. I kick a flow to make a crackhead, kick the dub, kick and flow. Why you bitch ass niggas kissing hoes? I strike a pose while you copycat striking now. Cause a nigga keep it real, don't nobody like me now. So fuck around and you gon' bring a real Viking now. I'm too much, so I give him just a right amount. I lost too many fakes, too many to count. So if you looking for them bitches, check the lock of them. The car, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The flame that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that ounce full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That's why that you got. That's my nigga. Trap life, fuck the food manufactured and that lip service traction don't match with your acts. Got a truck full of choppers and a house full of raw. Don't converse with the enemy, nigga, that's law. Who been learning you niggas wrong? Maybe it's my fault for giving passes back then. I shouldn't have let them walk. Now my youngest and nephews, they all mixed up from a radio playlist that's all fixed up. Pushing garbage on them, now they figure this what it is. Homosexual propaganda laced with showbiz. Flipping Tupac soldier life to dump down dunk. Gorillas in the field in the sideshow monk. That gang you claim me about the people, fuck you. Bypassing the protocol, the truth stuck to like the Apollo and Harlem. We saying, man, your whole ass put Bogart Styles and Tweet Caddy on the track. The car, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The flame that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that ounce full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That swag that you got. That's my nigga. Man, look out the window, man. You don't see us out here, nigga, we here to collect all of that. Bogart Styles, Fusion, G. Lou, that's my nigga. We can't like, nigga, we here to get all that back. Hope you didn't think you got that's away with nigga. that. That's my nigga. You wanna be skinny jean wearing. That's my nigga.
<laughs> All that shit, man. Come outside, peep gang. Outside, peep gang when it's being peeped to you, homie. It's the G Lu Show West Side Wednesdays. Tonight, like I said, man, it's going down in the real way. We got the homie Cocaine, the king of G Funk. Live on the G Lu Show, nine one four eight oh three four zero zero one is the calling number if you want to get at me. You want to talk to Cocaine, he will be pulling up in one minute, man. In the meantime, between time, I'm going to keep banging you with those Cocaine classics, homie. This is uh right here what I'm about to play. This is my shit right here. This is the Dirty OGs featuring Cocaine coming up on this new album they got dropping uh next month with Corrupt Weasel Lope from Pomona, Trey D from Long Beach. Uh, Cocaine is on there and the homie Chill from Compton's Most Wanted, man. This is California classic, because that's what it is, man. It's West Side Wednesday's the G. Lou Show. Free. Uh, this is radio station 2K Point G on your radio dial. And we are here live with the Dirty OG. This record here is Cocaine featuring the Dirty OG. Right. There's no place, no place like home. Where the gangsters roam and roam no roam in that Californian closet, we keep the hood just like a real nigga should. I wish you were with that California classic. Okay, this is classic. This a toast from the bookie. Gangsta don't dance, little gang bang rookie. I get it from the truth in the booth like cookie. I'm so California on you, blowing on that gun. And we sipping with them T-tops. All black everything in my eye rock. Uh, I got that stupid. Get high than the mean coat, baby. Here, hoop this. So gangsta, the homies gon' loop this. Killer, killer, Cali, do it easy. We hopeless. Still got him on the steering wheel, skipping past the palm trees, 90 degrees and something classic. And me and Coca keep it lit, we ain't tripping off shit, they can suck my dick, cause this classic coming straight from the left side, west side, best side, fired up. There's no place, no place like home, where the gangsters roam, and roam no roam in that Californian closet, we keep it hood. Like a real nigga should I wish you were with that California class Somebody call a corner. There was a murder last night on the corner. Point blank range, now cuz it's a corner. That's how it is on the west side of Pomona. It's the rider named Weez in the California breeze. On a mission checking props, cuz I gotta get cheese. With the dirty OGs posted up at the hangout. Rag straight front and back is what they made me bring out. If gunshots rang out, we the ones that's doing it. Ain't no motherfucking way the street punks is ruining it. I'ma keep it gangster like these other niggas couldn't. And ride for the west when these other niggas wouldn't. C-A- we stay doing it the G way, dipping in the tree say, swerving while the beat play, fresh new fitted, the juice on glisten, stash by pissing, should a fool come tripping, not bad bitches, clock fat chippers, keep some sticky twisted up in my swisher, the sweet life, street life, straight from the east side, started from a G ride, now I take G flights, born gangster, hustling and banging, steak mandate that the buses get mangled, busting new gators and fucking off paper, building with real niggas ducking all hell. No place like home Where the gangsters roam And roam no roam In that Californian closet We keep the hood Just like a real nigga should I wish you were With that Californian closet Dangerous the house will make a nigga that's loud as a thunderstorm, quiet as church mouses. True to the motherfucking chin, get it in. Half of the party is rolled up before it ends. Classic, classic. 1980 fin. Tend to get in. Domino, motherfucker. She'll drop her drawers. We'll drop his jaws. Ass whoopings artwork like painted walls, nigga. Nigga, nigga. The fireworks. Busting in the alley, checking ironworks. This is just the childhood of a hood, nigga. All grown up, real still good, nigga. Now I got $20,000 suits. Looking at these niggas like, what it do? Maybe I should slap the shit out of you. You and your own boy, too. Where you from, nigga? California. We finna put in work, check traps, and make snaps. Nigga wanna know what that these ain't hitting for, Coca. Check it. Tell them the dirty old cheese got that duffel bag. And we cheese move. Lee sent me knees on the he's on these angles, he's on these angles, recite knees down. 
And I'ma lace your touch with the quickness. It's nothing. California style. Yes, sir. And you already know, homie, it's the G Lu Show West Side Wednesdays. That was the dirty OGs featuring my homeboy Cocaine, my special guest for tonight. Check this out, right? Without any further ado. Yeah, without any further ado, we want to welcome my homeboy Cocaine, Coca Loca, Pomona's finest. To West Side Wednesday's the return of Coca Loke on the G Lu show. Hey, okay, hey, what's happening, cool, man? I appreciate you having me back, Love One. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Cocaine, man. I want to say before we get started, thank you for taking time out, homie, to uh, call into the show, man, and show love, man, because you know, uh, I know, I know you're real busy right now. It's a lot going on. You got a lot of stuff going on right now, but uh, we just want the reason I set up this show is because I want to show appreciation and love. Uh, to you, cocaine. You know what I'm saying for all you've done already and what you continue to do, and just just uh, keeping the present, preserving you and the rest of the homies, the, the West Coast G shit, the original G shit. You know because everything is getting funky right now and watered down and 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 just just plain crazy. It's getting better though. I can say that. You know, but I, I appreciate you and the dirty OGs and, and just you. Period for continuing the legacy, homie, and, and never folding or. Uh, Compromising to the bullshit, homie. You know, so I just want to give you a proper introduction. But this is the homie Cocaine. What's up, Coke? Hey, what's happening with it, fam? Man, that was that was nice, fam. I appreciate the love, man. Salute back at y'all for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, uh, like I, I I spoke on Cocaine was on here, I guess about a couple years ago. And um, I know a lot of a, a lot even since then has has, has you know, continue your progress in, in in the game. You know, a lot of different things. At that time, I think you dropped the last album you you put out. You know, and um now you know at this time you have a new album that's been out. You know, uh making big noise, and then you got the the new album coming out with the Dirty OGs, Weasel Loke, Coke, uh, uh uh Corrupt, Trey D. Shout out to Trey D. Got an album coming out this Friday, and um you know uh and the homeboy Chill from uh Compton's Most Wanted. So. So, you know, speak on what's been going on since the last time we talked to you, uh, Cocaine. Oh, uh, man, first of all, it's, it's a blessing from God. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't take that lightly. You know, uh, all praise due to God. And, right. uh, you know, Lady Cocaine, you know, my backbone, my vice president of my company, you know, we've just been hammering it, hammering it, everything out. And, uh you know, with the with the blessings of God, allow us to uh, put more paint where it ain't projects out, and and we right here, you know. So, you know, since the last time we talked, there's been a lot of lot of stuff happening. I signed new right. artists and was able wow. to uh, put the type of album I wanted to put together called the King of G Funk, and yeah, um, right. things are moving at light speed now, I should say. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. So you're right. And, and um, cocaine. I want to ask you, uh, being with all that going on, um, uh, how has the transition been? I mean, like, like I said last time we spoke, uh, you know, like you said, we, were, uh, everything transitioned from the old school. You know, like you said, you had a lot of shit going on with your, with your business stuff, and you had all that straightened out. But how has the transition been now that, uh, you know, we got the new age of things going on, um, like. Like uh, uh, opposed to the analog, we got the digital, and we got independence. You've been independent for a minute, but you have your own independence, and you can put your stuff out yeah. how you want. And you have the licensing and marketing, uh, monetizing, and um, you know all these type of things. How how has that transition been, and, and how how you, you know do you like it, and it, how is it going for your uh, yeah, buddy? It, it has its buddy pros boy and cons. Yes, sir. Sorry, cut you off, brother. It no, got it got its pros and cons. But for the most part, you know, it's just like going to college or a big university. It has its pros and cons, but it's your ability right. to to stick to the script and learn and grow and build from one brick, you know. Right. So I, me and my wife was able to uh, build build uh, allies, you know, mostly fan and fan based orientated, and it just kept growing. And and anything that you start off with, you know what I'm saying, it start off with a seed. 
you know, but right. if you keep watering it, you know, it eventually grows to a good tree. And that's what happened over here. Me and the wife just busted out. I was able to travel because um, uh, I learned best, you know, from Mr. Independent, and that was Easy E. You know, everybody that was part of that tree was very successful. So it was it was time, you know, when we right. created our company years, years ago, me and my wife, we just stuck to the script, you know, we're being motivated, we're learning from E and certain travels and experiences by doing hooks and the body of work and to, you know, to have your own autonomy. We know that was everything, but at the same time, we had to learn this game because you can't be talking on block phones no more. You know, people don't right. talk on block phones no more. They talk on Apples and Androids. So right, you know, right. that's what technology that's what technology is, you know what I'm saying? It allowed me and my wife to diligently, every single day, stay at it. And the good news about it, once you build up that that uh, your demographics, man, it really affects your analytics. And you know why you stuck to the script and stayed on that piano. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Real, real spill. And uh, cocaine. I want to also, since you spoke on the wifey, I want to uh, give much props to you and your wife, man. Everything you've done, and uh, just I spoke on that last time, but just staying solid, homie, the way you are with family oriented. I know you and your wife been together for a long time, and she's been with you through the thick and thin. And that's the vice president. Much love to your wife and your family. I know you got a lot of kids, man, and um, and and just oh, just being a stand up guy, man. man. You know, I want to salute you on that, homie. Man, I appreciate that. In this game, all I can say is that, you know, I'm blessed enough to have a family because life will shock your ass if you don't ground your wire, you know. Right. And, that, you know, having eight kids by one woman, you know. Man, that's unheard of these days. Yeah, that's unheard of. much more than my position <laughs> or how much work that I did or accolades that, that I acquired. It's the whole simple fact that, you know, it's a representation that you can be a survivor in the game and love what you do in this in a treacherous ass business by having right. family stability. And that's what that's what a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying, are lacking because their family is something that is carnal and it's not reality. You know, right. but I'm blessed enough, man, to to have the old school rub off on me, man, where it was you know, it was all about the family and if you notice music nowadays, they don't really incorporate the family. It's more perpetuating drugs and different yeah. other things that sway these kids to 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 jail or the brink of death or if not even die. And it's right. like I'm blessed enough, man, to uh, to to be able to never compromise what I love with my music and to always on every project that I do incorporate a balance or a message. Because, you know, it's unrealistic to think we can do the type of music that we're doing with no inspiration for elevation, you know. Mm. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, just cut from a different cloth, you know what I mean? And uh, it's a blessing, really a blessing to see that type of cloth and that music and that type of family vibe really come back on the forefront, you know, and some of the youngsters are really taken to it, you know what I mean? Because right. in my humble opinion, it's just my opinion, the music in the mid-80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, that carried substance. It was original. That's the best music the ever. They were saying after the police. Well, look yeah. what's going on with all our brothers just getting killed for nothing. Yeah. So, you know, it's just going back to that flavor, man, and, uh, you know, I tell Lady Cocaine, man, she really appreciate that. She worked her ass off, man. <laughs> man, please tell her, man. I, I, big ups, man. Seriously, homie. Like, uh, I always admire that, man. You've always done that, you know, included the family. And um, since you're speaking on that, like you said, you have eight kids, man, by one woman, man. That That's that's real old school because back in the day, that that's what our grandparents and stuff did. You know, we don't hear that nowadays. That's unheard of. But our grandparents and stuff were together together. Like, for as long as we knew, 30, 40, 50 years and had all these kids and, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah. and then you even have some boys, like twin boys, and I'm sure you brought your, you know, your sons up and your kids up to appreciate the real music and all that. So can you speak on that? Because, like you said, we have a lot of the newer generation, even the kids 
and, and, and the more I think about it, I blame the kids, but, but the more I think about it, it's probably because they don't know. Like, when we came up, we had our mothers, you know, we on the weekends, cleaning up the house, playing the old school music, so you knew what it was. Now, probably, the parents probably don't play the, the shit. And, and get the kids familiar with the music because they 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 bumping the same shit the kids bumping. You know, it's all like, you know what I mean? It's it, it, it's no uh, no balance. It's a twilight zone definitely going on. Yeah, look, I played that earlier, starts, bro. That's real. Man, thanks, man. Everything starts at the home. You know, at the home front, and uh, you know, I'm gonna contribute a lot of things. You know, behind every good successful man is a great woman. And uh, my woman just stuck it out for me, you know, with my dirty dog ass. You know, she loved me, right, right. kept everything together, was telling me about it. Because that's the realest nigga you know, the one that smell your funky breath in the morning, you dig? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, it was cool having her. And then at the same time, you know, to, to be able to listen and start cooperating and, uh you know, my boy, my twin boys, and my family is a reflection of her and myself. You know what I mean? And I just thank God that they didn't get in trouble and and uh, they got their heads on straight. Young, hardworking men. And my daughter, you know, she worked. You know, it was her desire to follow in her granddaddy and her daddy's footsteps. So she's been singing ever since she was like five, six. But now yeah, she's yeah, your daughter 21. Is I, I give it up to you. Oh. Yeah. Hey, and I want to cut you, know, you off so, of cocaine. I got a track from your last album I'm, I'm going to play featuring your daughter. I, I know I never got to tell you this, but that, that's a nice track. Like, I, I, I vibe to that. I could put that on and just, you know, zone out. And I know that's your daughter, you know, singing. That's, that's a cold track. I'm going to get to that later. But uh, I just want to uh, put thanks, that in. Go ahead, man. bro. And that's, that's, yes, what, that's what it was for mine. Just, just basically, you know, young kids are listening out there. Um, it's it's really it's 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 like a sperm cell trying to get to the A. All of them don't. This has become a re, uh, society has become a reality show based based right. type of uh, mentality. You know what I'm saying? Defined by what a black woman, especially for us black people, how she looks. Defined, and at the same time, you know they didn't shut out all the things that, that are talking about positivity and things that are really reality, man. And, you know, um, but at the same time, it's always hope. And that's where good music come in is that when we right. continue to be passionate about talking about certain social conscious messages or things that reflect pain in someone's life and incorporating messages in our music, we realize it has a lasting impression because this right. music nowadays, you know, ain't nobody going to remember it tomorrow yeah, that's remember. going to yeah, be right. Yeah, right. accountable for I, somebody. I had that same held. conversation. It's not going to last. You know, it's cool for now, but are we going to remember it 10 years from now? Probably not. No, nah, you, know, that's you ain't, but you music see nowadays. Tupac movie running around. And running around like, Pac and his music. Everybody want to be Pac now because, you know, yeah. you, you know the young kids got to know. That hey man, this is the message is is real. It lasts forever. Right, right. And uh, speaking on that Pac movie, you know, uh, I was talking to Money B on his show last night, but I, I was asking him the question: Do you think you know the 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 movie and the trailers, everything seemed pretty positive and powerful? I was asking Money B, does he think you know? Are we going to get the, the, the real story and everything? Because we know we spoke about this before the NWA movie. You know how a lot of things were. You know, uh, it was a great movie, first of all, but, but we know a lot of things were left right. out. And I was asking him, does he think it's going to be portray everything? You know, and he told me, you know, yeah. And and, and, and from your uh, perspective of it, what do you know about the movie? Do you think it's it's definitely going to, you know, we're going to get the real this time? Oh, yeah. They ain't put no cookie cutter on this one. They did it okay. down to a T. Now, certain things they probably couldn't couldn't say, you know what I'm saying? Just like... right. You know, certain things you just got to be hushed unless you can lose your life. That's just keeping it right. G real. But, right. you know, I'm, I know they didn't put no cookie cutter in there. So I'm excited about seeing, definitely excited about seeing uh, uh, the homie pop. Right. So For sure. Okay. 
And um and uh, we spoke on the NWA movie. And we know there's a lot of inconsistencies and everything. It was still a great movie, but can we expect to see anything that you know about coming out? You know, uh, maybe about Easy or NWA above the law. You know, uh, ain't everything nobody, that ain't we nobody, missed. Um, yeah, ain't nobody really hit me up on that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my thing is, is, is God bless everybody. If that's your interpretation of how you want to put it, I don't knock nobody. So I'm not a player hater. At first, it kind of sparked my emotions because who wouldn't, man? It's just like not to be incorporated in certain um, certain things that was very intricate. You know, it's being like, wow. But, you know, life goes on, man. I got my my own stuff. I learned to always chalk it up, dust my chin off, put my Romeos down, and keep it moving. You know, uh, NWA, what they're doing, God bless those brothers because at the same time, they were an outlet. They created a platform to easy to to really, you know, develop artists like myself and above the law and the list goes on. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, I'm I'm happy for all those guys. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna be running around like a mad rapper. You know, they told right. their story and it's you know, it's plenty of time to tell that story in my own personal book. That'll be out pretty soon. Okay. There it is. Exclusive right here. The book, Cocaine, mm-hmm. man. We need that, Coco. Yeah. We need I'm making that. Of we a need the real cocaine. story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need that, homie. Um, um, also, I want to speak on going back a little bit, and then we can move forward. But even in your kids, man, you know, I see you always have your, your kids, your twins, you know, and then you got your, your baby girl doing her thing. Um, obviously, you, you raise them up and to, to, to help them appreciate the music because, you do what you do, and they're always there front and center representing and uh, showing love, and and looks like they appreciate it. They know what it is, man. Was that a key for you, raising your kids to help them? Because like I spoke on earlier, a lot of these kids, I, I think they, you know, they're just ignorant to the fact of the music, you know, because some of them talk down or, or have their big heads, but maybe some of them just don't know. So was that a key in raising your kids to help them understand, you know, the music before us and like what you do? Almost importantly, but you got to let it flow natural. You know, I ain't never say, you going to do this and you're going to do that. And plus, you know, I had a praying wife. And, you know, when I got to Mac Wright, you know, we always um, interjected God into anything that we do, fam. You know, right. so if they say if you raise a child in the way of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, it will follow. And they'll understand those those godly, like, virtues that, that are instilled, like, you got to work hard. You got to be patient. You know, you got to keep it humble. You know, you got to have expectations. Fear not. Don't have that fear not spirit, you know. So, you know, when you're consistent with it, you know what I'm saying, it's just, you know, us as parents, you know, we blame a lot of the kids when the kids is ten times smarter than you take them for, you know. So it was more of, of a blessing to be able to lead by example. And just be honest with them, not treat my daughters like the preacher's daughters that you can't do this and you can't do that. No, they'll do the opposite of what you tell them anyway. But if you you tell them something where you can relate to them and you can show them, then it gives up a big picture because, you know, anger begot anger. So I was, you know, at the same time, I didn't spare the rod, but we, we always talk to our children. This is the reason why. This is the reason why you should do this. This is the reason why your friend over here is scandalous because of feeling vibes, you know. Yeah. So that way they have their own mind. We always, as some parents, always the problem is is that they don't allow their kids to have their own individuality, and they mm-hmm. have the mind when they have their own mind, mm-hmm. you know. So one of the things that really helped out is just instilling that God family uh, values that, hey, you know, you've seen what daddy go through because you're the sacrificial lambs for that. Don't right. follow some of the things that I have done. And and praise God, man, they stick into the script. Um, it's a blessing to see you have a, all the talent that God gives to where it's just, it blows your imagination away, man. When I'm on stage and I'm rocking with my twin boys because they my hype men and my, my right. daughter come out, you know, they, they still allow us as OGs to yeah. be tapped into that young energy. 
Yeah. And that guy's a and cocaine that has to feel you know, you have to feel like proud and just happy, like you said, when you could be on stage and then you got your boys back there rocking with you and your daughter coming out. I mean, it it, it has to feel good, man, for for real though, homie. Like really to just you know, see that, you know what I mean? And, and them rocking with you and appreciating the music that you do and appreciating and knowing who their dad is and, and what he's done and see the crowd reaction. And, and you know what I mean? It has to be beautiful. And, and then your boys, man, like, I don't know if they rap or do anything because I haven't heard anything, but they look like they ready already, man. They, they, they look, oh, they ready. Are, are, they, are, are, are they doing anything? But they on the, don't, I, I, I'm glad they really listen to me on the business aspect because they understand the dynamics of any business. It's not, it's really not 80% talent. It's really 80% business. So yeah. as far as administration and different other things, they, 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 they more concerned with the technical part. And that's okay. what I wanted that's to raise my thing. young black men on the business end to be young, successful first, you can do anything you put your mind to, but first right. handle your business. Right. So they take right. care of all my my business affairs, my wife, everything is in house. My graphics, my websites, Man. uh, my Man. videos. I rely on my family, brother. Man, that's beautiful, Coca. And um, to say that you have your whole family, you got so many kids and your wife, your your partner, but then they have like eight kids. That's like that's like a family, a uh. uh a gang in itself where I don't have to yeah. really deal with other people besides the people I really deal with, but you got your, your squad. Your, your, you know what I mean? It's like, it's beautiful, homie. That's a beautiful plus, thing. Coco. Man, plus, I'm, you know, you got to get involved. And let them get involved in what you're doing. You know, you right. don't know your, your kids look up to you. They follow right. you. They follow your bads. They follow your good. You got to lead right. them to that. You can't expect these kids, okay, hey, God bless the child. Nah, you're going to have to lead the way for them. You're going to have to set their lives up, you know? Right. So, you know, praise God. I was blessed to have a, a bomb-ass queen that, because of her, was able to, to you know, when, when all the lights and camera and action was gone, they were already, she was already there. And right. I've seen how much putting the industry first before my family. You know, you can hustle and have the right intentions to hustle for your family, which happened to be the industry. But then mm-hmm. the industry consumes you to where you hurt them in the end. And I vouch, mm-hmm. you know, time mm-hmm. I woke up, I never hurt them again. I always put them first. Yeah, the industry this and that. But the industry, I can lose my voice tomorrow. They won't give mm-hmm. a fuck. Mm. So, Preach. you know, it's a blessing to really, you know, instill that into my daughter into this wicked-ass business. You know what I mean? So that way she ain't no just reality star type of, you're going to treat her any type of way. No, she got business there. She know how to break that right. contract. She got her mm. own company. She got her mm. own fashion company. She's already mm. ready. Man. That's a beautiful thing, Coco. Uh, uh, everybody tuning in. We got new listeners tuning in, and um, the phone lines are blowing up, Cocaine. Uh, but you're listening to the homie Cocaine right now. We're dropping a lot of game, man, and just trying to drop some jewels on you, man. That's why I have my homie Cocaine on here. This is the second time on the show, but every time he comes on, man, he he, he tonight. Uh, uh, I see the phone lines blowing up. Shout out to my homie Big Flock in Long Beach tuning in. Uh, we got a few people tuning in. I'm gonna get to you in one minute. We'll take some calls in one minute. But uh, we spoke on your daughter, Cocaine, and um, I want to get into this track because, like I told you earlier, this is a, this was a nice track off your last album, and um, it's just a cool, smooth track. And then you have your daughter on there. You have you on there, and um, um, I want to play this track for the people, man. So, uh, Coke, yes, introduce sir. this track. What yes, song yes, is it? Because she got several. So. But it's the one. Damn, I didn't. I didn't load up the title. But the one where she's on here, man. Is it just the two of us? I think that's uh, the one. Grew she, apart. I think that's the one. The two of us. Oh yeah, that's cold. That's that. She yeah. funky on there, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, uh, this is Cocaine's so. daughter, Miss Miss Am I pronouncing it correctly? 
Her name is Anissa, and she got an EP Anissa. coming out called A Star is Born. And uh, it'll be coming out. Uh, her first video, Strobe Light, will be coming out. But um, that's, you know, if we go back on this on West Coast Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? That's that, uh, just the two of us. Cocaine, live in the building. The G. Lou Show. You are alive. The sun rays that hit my skin creep into the clouds when it's been raining. For 40 days and 40 nights, you are refreshing to my soul. We go together like stars in the sky Like matter rain Gentle Falling down very softly You make me feel Like a kid Hey, hold up. Before we go on, I'm sorry. The song, the name of this song is La La La, featuring Anisha, Cocaine's daughter, and Cocaine on the G Lu show. guest tonight cocaine featuring his daughter anisha la 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 off the new album king of g funk king of g funk is out right now make sure you go pick it up download it if you got you know your iphones your smartphones or itunes go uh search cocaine google cocaine 
the king of G-Funk, and you can download the album. I'm sure it's everywhere music is sold. Make sure you go do that ASAP. We're back. Uh, my special guest tonight, Cocaine. Uh, Coca, that's off the new album, King of G-Funk, man. Can we talk about that new album, man? Because it dropped uh, a minute ago, man. And uh, tell the people about this new album, what, what what they can expect from it. And, you know, and, and also, man, I want to tell you, uh, you, wanna, you wasn't on earlier, but I played the California Classic, man. That was probably like my, my my shit for like for about two two months straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm banging it in the caddy every day. You know, playing the video. Yeah. I got the screen in there, so I'm I'm banging the video. That was a banging ass track on me, and um, I wanted to, I wanted to tell you about that, man. That was my shit for like two months straight, homie. That's a classic, California classic. Can you tell us about that man, song and the album? Appreciate that. That California classic produced by my boy Paul Segal. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and, um, that's a banger, boy. Uh, man, when we did the track, it was just like something because I was finished with my album, but I said, okay. Man, I gotta get the 30 OGs on this project. So we all came together, man, and it was just, just like magic, man. We, it was the type of track that when we heard it, it got that Battle Cat feel to it, and you right. know, we made hits with Battle Cat records. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we laid That's what down, I thought shot the, Yeah, we shot the video and uh we started working it, man, and it was actually the debut because we wanted to sneak sneak it on them on, on the King of G Funk and also sneak it on the new upcoming project by the Dirty O G we got now and now. Right. So that was a right. perfect opportunity to like pre debut the Dirty O G setting them up. So right. we set them up right and been hammer, hammering everything out for the last five months or so. And uh, big ups to all the fans out there because they made that thing go a million, almost I was a about million to say, thirty right now. I was about to you say it's over a million, man. Thirty OG yeah, California so right classic. After that, yeah, that that really, along with the good music of the thirty OGs, really sealed the deal over there at RBC. RBC. You know, RB, big ups to RBC Records. That, and, that uh, was another uh, question I was going to ask there. you. That was another question, Coco, not to cut you off, but I was going to ask you later. Um, how was it, How was that like, you know, uh, I know you got your independent thing going on. Everybody does, trade corrupt. But how how did it feel to uh, close a deal with a, you know, with a with a label? You know, I know you've been doing your own thing for a minute. So to come back to the table and uh, and uh, get down with a label again and be signed to a label, how, how was that, man? And how... And, and and how how are they treating you over there? And how how was that situation? Because I know everybody well, pretty much well, does it independent. Well, RBC RBC is uh is uh doing some amazing things over there. You know, Brian, right. you know, just the whole camp they did with Tech Nine and and E Forty, and they kind of remind me of the label. You know, the Easy had priority. How they was just man trailblazing the whole game. And it was a perfect fit for, you know, the 30 OGs, you know, big ups to Uncle JP for really, really uh, connecting the dots. And uh, it just fit more than the OJ Club. RBC is about to do some amazing things for the 30 OGs. And it's it was a good business marriage because we wanted to be with somebody that can complement our caliber and complement our push on the social networks and different other things. And, you know, it was cool. Because they said, man, you guys are already, you are, y'all already ready. You know, everything right. we had on point, you know, California Classic video going over a million. And then individually, what makes so this group so, you know, rare and special, in my humble opinion, is that everybody comes from somewhere. You got Dog Pound, Corrupt comes yeah. from Dog Pound, you got Chill comes from Compass Most Wanted, you got Trady yeah. come from the East Siders, you got Weasel Love yeah. come from Pomona City Riders who right. Weasel Loaf also helped me write pimp shit for too short on on hey, they, hey, Nigga, that's I'm glad shit. you spoke on that. They be sleeping on Weasel. They don't know people may yeah. know who he is, so but tell them about my, Weasel. He's been in oh, the gee. game for a minute. You know, he got right, songs right. from Red Man. He's been in the game quite a bit right. for a minute. But, you right. know, everybody basically came together mm-hmm. and and said, this is some duh. We are, we're not trying to be the old rappers like the youngsters. We give a lot of credit to. I do stuff with the youngsters. See, I did with Nip, Nipsey Hussle. He took right, off right. after uh, yes, Mr. Untouchable and 
You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? So it's not yes, it's not nothing like that. We are exactly what we say. We OGs. We dirty OGs. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the project is coming out of right around the corner. And, you know, big ups to the streets first. You know, mm-hmm. before the industry, the streets is really taken to this because that's where our music originates from. A lot of mm-hmm. this Hocus Pocus Hollywood stuff is really, really Hollywood. But things Hollywood. is going back to the streets, and people are in dire need of that good street music that they, they can relate to that they call keeping it gangster. And so. with the Dirty OGs, that project dropped uh, 10 28. But the good thing October about it, we're taking care of the home. Halloween. Yeah, we taking care of the, yeah, we taking care of the homeboys too. First, ten twenty one <laughs> that are incarcerated, yeah. the homies behind there the wall. Is. So you know the, the dirty OGs is what it is, man. We a street group. You know what I'm saying? We bringing back that gangster shit, and not just right. picking up a pistol and shooting a nigga in the head type shit, but bringing back. What set the whole world up when Easy E brought that gangster rap? You dig? Right, 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 right. I heard, and I heard it ain't no cuts on it, man. It's, it's, it's ain't no cuts on it. It's just straight, raw, unauthorized G shit, and that's what we need. Yeah, and I like this. I love this because it's just it's G shit. You know, music is different. You can't knock nobody's hustle. You know, yeah. um, but ain't no message in there. It just reminds yeah. you of some gangster shit. Yeah, and that's what we need right now, man. We need the real to come back, homie, because it's, everything is watered down, man. You know, and every but it, the much as the music is so watered down, at the same time, everybody want to say that they gangsters and uh, they G's and and they bloods now and they crib some crips, but you know it's a lot of everybody bloods and and G's now, you know. Uh, but but they look like. I don't want to even get on that, you know what I'm saying? But you you know what's going on in the music industry, so so yeah, this is a, needed it's a right fad now. now. It's a fad, man. They didn't took the because um, a lot of people died behind those yeah. two flags, yeah. you know. And you can't you can't just take it, you know. It just became a fad. But yeah. you know, OGs that have been down that line that been key holders. You know, we now we now know that we need to clean up our own streets and need to lead by example. So that's sure. what, you know, me, you know, my travels and knowing certain homies that were still here, you know what I mean? First of all, it's a blessing that we made it past 21. We yeah. get the same opportunity to go ahead and be inspiration by leading my example to clean up some of the messes that, you know, we did in that suppression by being oppressed. You know what I mean? So whether it's through music, whether it's through, you know, youth centers or whatever it is, you know, the, the biggest blessing for us as OGs is to 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 uh, to have youngsters, you know, relate to to the things that 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 they go through. You know what I'm right. saying? And that's what Dirty OGs represent. Not only just for Dirty OGs, but a representation to some of these youngsters that. You don't have to have the mentality that you ain't gonna live past twenty four. Yeah. It's a choice yeah. out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can still keep it gangster. But nowadays keeping it gangster is taking care of your families and different yeah. other things, man. I mean, don't none of us own no blocks. You seen what mm-hmm. they're going in and doing with the Jordan Downs, they going there and taking mm-hmm. those people's spots with a billion dollars. It ain't we mm-hmm. ain't never own no block. But we keep, you know, but we so dying for them blocks. Yeah, so now it's time that now that the veil is being lifted off because we know the biggest gang is the police. Now, yeah. the biggest veil that's being lifted off, you know what I'm saying, is that you know finally the suppression and the people are taking their mask off to where us as OGs, it's accountability. It's one thing yeah. to tell these little niggas or whoever you can't do this and that. But it's another thing to lead by example. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah for sure. Cocaine live in the building, West Side Wednesdays. Coca, I'm gonna go to a couple. Uh, I'm gonna go to the phone lines, man. If you don't mind, a lot of people out there want to check in with you and um, uh, get questions or whatever. So I'm gonna go to the phone lines. Um, first right. I'm gonna go to my OG out here, man. Uh, Long Beach in the building. Long, what's up, homie? Hey, hey, what's cracking with it? What's up with y'all? 
It's all love, baby. It's all love, How you doing? Baby. How you doing? Oh, it's all good. Shout out to Cocaine, man. Much respect. Keeping the G Funk alive, man. Somebody keeping the flag up in the sky. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just called in. Yeah, yeah, this is Big Floss, man. I just called in to give my respect to you, you know what I'm saying? Because, shit, he spoke at A.G. Lou. Everything he just said, he just hit it with a nutshell, man. Accountability, man. That's that's my new word for, you know what I'm saying, accountability. That's for all G's, yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all everywhere, man. We got we tore it up. We got to clean it up now. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what yeah, it is because real life, real life. because with this industry, they're using, they're using this gang life, man, and uh, pushing their agenda up under that this, this, this umbrella, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not right. Yeah. It's not right, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, Floss, I'm out here pushing. I know everybody think I'm the bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I'm, I'm going to stay down for the dirty OGs, like you said, because some of us still blessed to still be out here. And some of us still yeah. blessed to be out here, man. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Mark, that's yeah, what it is, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. You know, I'm going to support the real at all costs. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to yes, do, sir. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go I appreciate much love, that. Man. Much love. Much, much love to you. Love to you. And Long Beach, you know. Promote another Long, Long Beach. You got a chemistry that's cold. cold. Uh, uh, to move yeah, to the yeah. LBC. 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 So, yeah, so. much love to the promoter, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep it heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, For but sure, uh, G. Lou, shout out to G. Lou, man, to keep it, you know, keeping that platform for us, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Because yes, we ain't got too many of them out here, man, for us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yes, it's just a blessing, man. And uh, anytime yes, a special guest on, anytime a special guest on the show, Floss tuning in because I'm a fan first. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan yes, of the music first. You know what I'm saying? That's my yes, thing. Sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with that, man, Thank I'm going to roll you. one Thank up, you, man, and, and, take a, and I'm going to take a ride with y'all, man. So uh, y'all enjoy y'all night, man. Salute, man. Man, salute, you too. Salute, salute. You and your, your family, Jay. Yes, sir. You, you Much love, man. We're, we're up here. So, hey, cocaine. Okay. All good? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, it's all love, yeah, Floss. I'm love. sorry, we cut off, but we got you, Floss. He, he was showing love to you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. yeah, man. Love, 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 love to my love, nigga, man. Much love. 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 Okay, that's what it is. All right, Floss. All right, Floss. Hey, 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 um, Cocaine, I'm going to go to a couple more callers before we go on. I got my bro out there in Spokane, Washington. Hey, I know cocaine. You 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 mentioned last time you you uh, relocated to Washington, uh, Seattle. Right. Are you still there? How was that? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You know, I go back home. You know, I ain't no place, no place like home <laughs> where the gangsters roll and roll on. Roll on. Hey, sure. I gotta go back home, but you know, it was a good opportunity for my family. And, you know, I'm not here for myself, fam. You know what I'm saying? It's not about me. It's about them. So, you know, at at that time, when I did a little punk-ass county lid, you know, I just Mm. heard it vividly on my bump, like, you know, move. Move to a place where you don't think that, you know, when God tells you to move, he tells you to move. You know, now, I ain't no perfect-ass nigga or nothing like that. I ain't ain't no holier than thou. But God's yeah. grace was upon me. He said, move, because I kept seeing pictures. You know what I'm saying? We go eat in the chat, uh, and we're in, the, we're, in the, we're in the rec room or something. You know, I go see Seattle, you know, yeah. Washington, Washington. So I moved up here, and it was the, one of the greatest moves because, you know, it allowed me to, you know, clean up my act, you know what I'm saying, and allow me to get my business in order. You know, my mom had passed in, so I was really going through do a little something, but mm-hmm. you know when I moved, man, it was a trip because the house that I lived in, you know, I was so listening to this voice in my head, man. I mm-hmm. left a whole set of furniture in there, everything. Mm-hmm. I left it all because it carried the energy that I didn't want around me no more. Mm-hmm. So, man, when I left, man, it was just like some got lifted off me, and mm-hmm. you know, I was here and say, okay, God. What you want me to do now? Like, what's this mean? Because I mm-hmm. came to the place, and it wasn't cracking off the bat. Mm-hmm. You know, it was still tough. Like, this don't make sense. But then mm-hmm. things start making sense. Not not to our own human 
capability of thinking, but in the spirit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, not to get all hocus pocus. No, you good, man. Preach. Nu- yeah, to sum it up in a nutshell, man, it's like things started getting better, man. And by mm-hmm. being up here, man, you see the brightness in my wife, my children. You know, mm-hmm. it's about your environment. And that's what that's God right. did for me. You know what I'm saying? It's different for, for anybody else. But in order to go ahead and grow, a, a rose can't grow in a garden full of weeds. And it don't have nothing mm. to do with the territory, more so than the people that's carrying that mm-hmm. negative energy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Around them, I met new people. Washington has been very good to me. And that mm. way, when I come home, you know, to Cali or Pomona, you know, and out there, people say, you look sharp. Because yeah. you know why? Everybody needs a time out to know to know the things that they're doing, you know what I'm saying, might not be in the best interest for your family. Okay. So I just listen, you know what I'm saying? And that, you know, I, I'm a hard head, man. I, I couldn't listen hmm. to shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm male chauvinistic and, nah, we ain't going to do this, me, me, my way. But nah, man, when God took a lot of things away from me and hmm. sat me down, then I realized, like, God, you're so good. And the reason why I'm, I always talk about God is because mm. I've been so bad and he still saved me. He still mm. let me bounce back. Mm. Say that again. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, so, you know, big ups to Washington, my second home. They treated me right, allowed me to bounce back. And I always got a soft spot for Washington, real talk. Yes, sir. And I was saying that also, to, I'm going to bring my, my – uh, my big bro in right now. He's in Washington right now. Uh, Spokane over there on, I think that's the east side of Washington. I'm gonna bring uh, CeeLo in. CeeLo, what's up, homie? You live with Cocaine? What's happening? What's happening, CeeLo? Hey, shout out, man, Cocaine. Thank you for taking the time to do the show again. I missed the last one, man. I had a couple of things I did want to ask you. You know, first off, you know, once again, thank you for doing the show, brother. Uh, I just want to pleasure, touch brother. on one. Okay, I'm gonna to touch on the subject back when you was on priority with Easy real quick. Um, mm-hmm. How much of the uh, the 187 album did you help him write? And after he passed, I know there's a lot of things going on with you and above the law. And did you have any projects like in the works coming out? And you just had they just shelved you, or because we didn't hear from nah, you didn't for a minute after they didn't that? Sh- okay, they didn't shelve me. We did some we did some groundbreaking records from Living Like Hustlers. You know, words that we created were called ball and G funk because we originated right. with G funk. So, you know, the first words you ever heard on record, the name of chronic, that came from above the law camp. So, all these type of words that people are using today actually came from above the law camp. We had a major okay. influence, it was a blueprint that we had. So, you know, putting out records like Funk Upon a Rhyme, Uncle Sam's Curse with Black Superman and VSOP and. Then doing that record with Easy E, Dr. Dre, 187, because I wrote uh, uh, part, uh, uh, it was two writers on there, a dude by the name of Dirty Red. Uh, actually, right. his name was uh, Shaky, um, and myself wrote, uh, uh, and Hutch produced uh, any last words for Easy E. So, like, when Easy died, you know, that was our lifeline, man. It was like right. everything got frozen up, and there was no time. It wasn't, wasn't no room for me to stay around there. I mean, what, what was I going to stay for? Right. You know, in my opinion, Tamika and everything else around there at that time, I mean, I don't care about it now, but I was like, fuck this shit, man. I, my homie gone. We gone. So I was able to link in with Yella because he was putting out a project. And he put out a project called One More Nigga to Go. We had a song called This Is For The E. And uh, right. memory took Classic. easy. Classic. So that was through Classic. Scotty Brothers, and it allowed me to land a deal, uh, me and my cousin, and we came out with a project called For Riders Only on Scotty Brothers, you know, okay. after Eric died. And then after that, you know, Scotty Brothers was, like, was really, uh, was not about to be no more. And, and there we go. We I was back at square one. I had nowhere to go. So nine times out of ten, I would go to a lot of recording studios. And uh, nine times out of ten, which is a blessing, man, I bless, praise God for the E-40s and shorts and the list. The long list goes on, man, because they would they would be like, I'm using that. I'm using that, man. And that allowed me to put cabbage on the table, you know what I'm saying, and, and, right. and really 
create a safe haven. And after that, I just started doing more hooks, more hooks. Because it wasn't that I was trying to be on the, any Guinness Book of World Records for being the most secret artist. I had right. kids to feed. <laughs> I had kids to feed. That was my formula. Yeah. Eric was my lifeline, and he was gone. And we wasn't done no more shows, no more this. All of it just like, you know what I mean? But right. there it is, that, that passion. Was... We were passionate about what we do. Okay, yeah, because I was leading into my next question, man, because, I mean, a lot of people, except on the West Coast, I got to speak for, you know, because that's where we're that's we from and that's what we was vibing and listening to at the time. A lot of people outside of the West Coast probably just had you pegged as a hook, man, and didn't know no better about your flows, man. I knew you could flow for years. We yeah. all knew, yeah. but it just took yeah. so long to yeah. come out, you know, and now it, that's, that's what had a lot of people heated because I was like, I know this nigga could spit, and I got to tell you one yeah, time, shout out on that, that uh, Oh, go ahead, brother. I need to cut y'all. Go ahead. Uh, not to cut you off, too, brother. Sorry yeah. about that. A lot of things okay. had to do with my name. They were scared right. of my name. Easy E oh, had got wow. a big deal. He had the first big, biggest deal. He was on Russell Simmons to the West Coast. He had Poor, Broken, Lonely, Above the Law, and uh, he had uh, Cocaine, which they turned my group to name Who Am I. This was like in 90, Well, during right. that time, we had our own studio, Above the Law Studio on Lafayette against Citanella, and we all used to kick it and stay with Hutch, which is my cousin, me, Warren G, Kev, Cam G, rest in peace, Kev, Chaos, and, and Gomac would come from South Central, him and Laylaw, you know, in Colton, California. So Warren G always used to tell us, man, I got this nigga, man, this nigga ain't Snoop, hard. I think I want to bring him <laughs> up to the studio. Because back then, and this is just being the truth, they, it's good to see Dre messing with Warren G, you know, back then. But, right. you know, Dre wasn't really messing with Warren like that, brother. Just to be, not not to assault anything or put salt in it, just telling you facts. So right. when, when Snoop came up to the studio, that's when I met Snoop in the beginning of 91. In the beginning of 91, I met him and Nate Dog. And one thing that, that sparked me about Snoop is that he was a cold-ass freestyler, like, damn. So Hutch was actually going to put Snoop out because Hutch is actually the first one that discovered Snoop Dogg. That wasn't Dre. It, it was Snoop. So during that time, you know, it's a trip because I'm the only ruthless artist on the deep cover soundtrack, which is Nickel Slick Nickel. We was all together. So... We were about to, you know, it was, uh, at, during that time, it was a little bit of discrepancies at Ruthless. You know what I mean? And Eric called a meeting to want to rekindle business relationships with everybody because the actual first people that was thinking about leaving because of the discrepancies was above the law in cocaine. We were going to link in with Dre and Suge because Suge was block garden and doing managing work for us at that time. They wanted, we was all going to leave together. But see, Eric had called a meeting, uh, and we came to the meeting. We rekindled, worked it out. See, Eric wasn't a hard person not to work out. He wanted to work out things at Bubble Law. He wanted to work out things with Dr. Dre and DLC. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to work it out. But we rekindled our business relationship, backed up out of the deal, and during that time, Snoop couldn't wait around because I was actually – Signed as a ruthless artist, and I had to work on my project. So therefore, you know, when Hutch was about to put it, put him out, like a month or so much later, you know, that's when we find out that because they weren't coming around the studio no, no more. That's when we found out that Snoop and them went over to Dr. Dre, and uh, Dre right. didn't never make the meeting. You know what I'm saying? He was he was settled on going his own way. In my humble opinion. He didn't never have to leave Dre like that because years later he found out how Silk really was. But, right, you right. know, all that's water right. under the bridge. Those things that happened then, you know, you know, for the most part, you know, God bless Snoop and Warren and all those cats to really catapult not only themselves but their city to a whole new level too. So you can't, right. knock, you can't knock dog for that, for what was going on. But this was happening during those times. That's why, as a witness, it's a blessing to sit up on this platform 
and actually be able to relay it out to a generation that, that sees sometimes a bunch of gaps in stories. Well, you can't do a bunch of gaps in stories talking to cocaine when you're talking about this roofless tree because I was right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So That's it's right. always good when men when men can men up and get back together. So later through the years, me and Dog, we put aside everything because we were friends before. I mean, if you wasn't going to be on death row, you was going to be on a, a bump the law was going to put your record out like they put my record out. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So right. it, it's a trip. After all that transpired, you know, the Pog, the Easy, it was a blessing to put all that aside in 99, you know, and really take to what Dog was doing at the doghouse. You know, and me and Trey D, Half Dead, Badass, we were already making records in 1998 together with this company right. named Street Institute. You know, okay. but then that was the making in 99 to set up, to lead up to work at Doghouse. So hey, me and Trey got together. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Me and Stu got together and was like, we squashed the funk, brother. And, you know, for hip hop, for, for, you know, how it all started before the trouble came, it was a blessing to do that because out of that came the East Siders. I was able to get back with Dre, get on the Chronic 2001. Man, the last meal was LA records that go down in hip hop history, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that was really like a dog and cocaine album. Yeah, yeah, you were all you over that. I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, with the whole revelation that I'm trying to sum up in the whole pot of gumbo so you, I don't lose you, it's just, it's a blessing to be able to see the whole revelation of West Coast hip-hop. It's rise and it's fall and it's reinventing itself. So with the new, new, uh, uh, um, not, I wouldn't say you knew with how the West Coast artists out are now and how they gravitate back to those original West Coast sounds. Man, it's just a blessing, man, to be able to see that and still be relevant in the game after 26 years, brother. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right, man. I just I have one more question. This is a two part, man. I'll make it quick because I know we're getting low on time here. But I was curious, yeah. man. Do you is are you still in contact with Dreyser and Knockout? And uh, how did you end up hooking up with Mr. Short Top Man to do that Dollars Dank and Drink? Yeah, that's oh, classic. Man, that's real classic. Quick. That's my shit. To, that's uh, my shit. Big up to my bro, uh, Drakester and uh, Naki. Salam alaikum to my uh, team. You know what I mean? They're my best roofing right. family. You know, we original roofers. Right. We we didn't leave Eric when he passed. We stayed with him until right. the very end. You know, so big ups to them and Short Chop is my guy, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, yeah. big ups to you know, big ups to Terry Carter, rest in peace, Terry Carter. Oh yeah, had yeah, hooked yeah. up that situation, and uh, me and Chop did it heavyweight. And, Yeah, heavyweight records, and uh, you can't go wrong with a Battle Cat beat, man. You know, oh, man, you was killing that. Going that. Code in the video. Going that. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong, man. Battle Cat is <laughs> Battle Cat. Hey, Battle hey, cocaine, cat glad you said producer. that. I'm glad you said that, Cocaine. Not to cut anybody off. This is G. Lou speaking, but Battle Cat, please give him his respect. I know we got Dre and Quick, some of the best, but Battle Cat, man, hey, much respect, man, Battle Cat. a lot of good producers. You got to look at you got to look at Battle Cat. You got to look at Quick. You got to look at yeah. Cole 187. Because yeah, Cole 187, let me tell you something. He showed song. Dre a lot of shit like Dre showed him a lot of shit. You got to look at Yella. You got to look at uh, uh, Kenny McLeod, uh, who did Bone, um, mm. Rick Rock, uh, Studio Tone, uh, Ant Banks. You mm. know, it's a lot of good producers, man, from that, that was cut from that old Yo, cool, DJ Pooh. You know? Yeah. Oh, DJ Pooh. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, for the new producers, upcoming producers, I'm just happy that that we got some new talent that's keeping us funky. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because it's mm-hmm. easy to, 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 to follow. But you got some good producers like Day One. Day One's yeah. a cold producer, yeah, man. Day One is soft. Um, man, it's a lot of good yeah, Frost Sun. Yeah, we can go yeah, on forever. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad we was able to speak on those new producers, keeping it alive, man. Much love, yeah, much yeah. love. See, Lo, what else you got to get in, man? Oh, man, I, 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 I about covered it, man. I know we're getting a long time, man. I just, you know, thank you, brother, again for blessing us, you know, with your appearance on the show. Like I said, I missed the last one, and I wanted to ask you about that. And um, like I said, I've been trying to put my son up on a lot of your tracks, you know what I'm saying, like especially Twilight Zone, you know, wake up, don't be following, you know, just because your friend like this and his friend like that and his friend like that, be your own, you know what I'm saying. Even if you ain't banging G-shit, you know what I'm saying, it's cool to party, but, you know, niggas want to have some substance like you were saying, man, you know. Yeah, man, but these kids, go ahead. These kids, is, you know, I don't knock them because, can't knock no young brother that's feeding his family, and that's how he get down. That's just like my grandma said. I don't want to hear that damn rap. You know what I mean? So uh, us as OGs right. now, that you know, it's some OGs that got grandbabies. How would we do if we just to say, "Oh, I'm knocking it, woo, 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 totally." And to be specific, you know, I don't believe in the skinny jean thing. You know, that's what they do. <laughs> you know, but then to tell you the right. truth, I'm gonna watch this. Shit. We had on skinny jeans in nineteen eighty five, tough skin. Yeah, yeah. Scuffed at the bottom. Well so think about it. Think about it. It's just a different time. But from the right. era that that in my humble opinion that was I mean, you ain't gonna never see me put on no tight ass shit. <laughs> but from the era but from the era that we come from, yeah. it was substance. It was you got people from the NWA yeah. saying F the police above the law, being black superman, it's not what you know what you can prove. You got you yeah. got Toddy T mixed master spay, can walk down but, the street, pick up R P. You know what I'm saying? And, you had and, but 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 Coca, shit. the main thing you said and we had balance also. We had a lot of like you said, the other stuff too. We had young MCs and different stuff, but we had it we had it all. It was a balance. Like we got to hear it all. Nowadays they just push one thing down your throat, and this is it. it opposed to, you know, yeah. at least we had, we can listen to this, we can listen to that, we can appreciate the East Coast, sound like the East Coast, we can appreciate down south, the Scarfaces, Ghetto Boys, the sound that they brought, and then we can appreciate the West Coast. You know, it was yeah, balanced, yeah. and everybody you know was. I, you know what itself. I don't like, man? That was a bunch you of know copycat. what I don't like, brother? Yeah, copycat killers. You know what I don't like, yeah. though, brother? And I don't think it's fresh on Pin Planet. Man, this music industry, this 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 became it became a a pop a Percocet or drink some sh- uh, drugs and shit. That yeah. shit ain't fresh. That's fuck. That's yeah. whack. If all you little niggas is talk about drugs and shit, you're fucking law. Now I don't knock your ass, man, but you're fucking law. Yeah. And that you know what I'm saying? That got to change. Like who who like? Back in the day, and it's a trip because stuff, my name was man. called Cocaine, but then nowadays, that's the shit everybody talking about now. <laughs> like, yeah. that shit was Twilight Zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said it best. Yeah. He said it best. That's the class. That's why it's a classic song, man. Uh, Definitely, definitely. Hey, I want to go to another caller. CeeLo, you got anything else? No, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good, man. Let, let the people get Let the people get some time, man. Okay, yeah, we winding down the show. I'm gonna go to another call. Uh, four hundred four. Yeah, much love, Cino. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, much love. Six zero three. Uh, call at four hundred four six zero three if you want to speak. You can speak. Four hundred four one one twice. Okay. All right. Oh, I guess they nervous or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They nervous, I guess, man. I don't know. We got CeeLo. We got a floss out there. But uh, uh, cocaine, moving on, man. Um, uh, What else can we expect? I know we got the King of G-Funk out there right now, and then we got the Dirty OGs. I'm really anticipating that. I already got the King of G-Funk, but let them know anything else uh-huh. about the King of G-Funk, what's going on, new singles, or, 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 or what, can, what can we expect well, from that? Well, I got some... Uh... I got some goodies, baby, man. It's the return of that uh, funk, baby, PG funk. Okay. I got that okay. new video with Bootsy Collins and Gift Goody from the A. Oh, you shit. Know I just saying? seen Gift Goody and in that, them this weekend. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the Dodgers. Right. Big up that, to that's the Dodgers classic, family. Yeah. They making their imprint that's again, doing their thug yeah. thing, man. They hold yeah, it they down. Yeah, they had a good hey. show. Yeah, a good yeah, show this weekend, so that'll man. Be Great. Out, that, that'll be coming out um, in November. And uh, my daughter uh, is coming out with a single, a strobe light. And I also have this uh, some artists I signed. It's this kid okay. named Flex. You know, he's out of Long Beach, and, man, he's incredible. He's a jack of all trades. He oh, uh, produces, writes. He got a cutout right now called Fade Them All at iTunes featuring Coca Loca. You can grab okay. that. And I also got my essay homeboy. You know what I'm saying? He he got some stuff out. His name is Namic 626 and he got to cut at iTunes right now for the ladies called Hold It Down featuring Coca. And plus, I okay. got my artist, my Jamaican artist, who's been with me since day one. Yeah, his name is Baby Loke. Baby Loke from Oceanside. And uh, he's about to drop some new shit. So, you know, it's a lot on my plate. We pushing these campaigns, you know what I mean? The, uh, the Dirty OGs campaign, the King of G-Funk double album campaign. And we also oh, pushing that Buddy Boy line. And also make sure you go pick up Trey D's The Third Coming because that's oh, going to be a hot man. solo album, too. Yes, sir. Trey D. I'm looking forward to that. I'm grabbing that myself this Friday on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Make sure you grab that. And Cocaine, let them know also where they can check out all the videos, man, because you, you've been dropping a lot of visuals. I'm like, damn, that's a beautiful thing, man. Let them know your YouTube page and all that where they can check out the videos. Man, you can go to my YouTube. Uh, make sure, most importantly, you leave comments and, and subscribe. I need them subscriptions. You can put yes, the sir. cocaine videos. You spell cocaine, K-O-K-A-N-E, videos. And also, visit the Dirty OG's new YouTube page and make sure you subscribe to that at the Dirty OG's. You know what I'm saying? Support it. You know, we keeping it G real. We ain't gonna keep it nothing less, you know what I'm saying? So there it is right less. there. And you can you can reach me on my Instagram at my real name at Jerry D Long, which is spelled J E R R Y. He is in basketball, L O N G Long. And you can reach me, uh if you can't don't wanna reach me there, reach me on uh Twitter for all those that's looking for one of them legendary hooks for cocaine. You can reach no. me at K O K A N E official. Don't spell it drug way. Spell it the dope <laughs> MC way. Coke Tell him again, Coke. Official. K O K A N E. Official. Yes, sir. There it is, man. Cocaine, man. I want to thank you again for blessing the show, homie. And, uh, man, it's been a, another great show, The Return of Cocaine. This is the second edition. If you want to check out the old one, check out the archives at Blog Talk Radio, The G Lou Show. Man, it's been great again, Cocaine, man. Uh, let them know once again where they can get that new album, The King of G-Funk, also, before we get out of here, and I'm going to get upside the head with another the, banger. The King of G-Funk, you know what I'm saying, featuring so many George Clinton and Bootsy Collins at the same time. You got Big Snoop on there. You got Cole 187 Exhibit, Trey D. You got uh, the Dirty OGs. You got Daz and Corrupt on there. This thing is off the meat rack. You can get it at iTunes, Apple, E-Music, Google, all that good shit. Anywhere where they selling social sites, stores are open, you can grab that shit. And make sure, mark this down on your calendars. We got now and next coming uh-huh. soon, dropping 1028. And also look Dirty for OG. Buddy Boy artist Flex. He's coming out with his new mixtape called New School Preschool. There it is right there from the Legendary cocaine. Cocaine. Hey, before you get out of here, cocaine, give me a drop, man, for the G Lou show, man. Just something. Just lace me, man, please. Man, y'all know what we do. We chilling with G Lou. We stay on point like Street Seattle. Now that's <laughs> There it is. Cocaine, man. The legendary cocaine. Man, Google is your friend. Google the homie cocaine and get his new album, King of G Funk. Dirty OGs dropping next month. Classic. I'm looking forward to it. And I want to thank you again, Cocaine, for blessing the show. We love you, homie. Man, much love. man, much love. And, oh, yeah, make sure you go pick up the new single. I forgot about that. We okay. got a new single. Uh, it's called Dogs, D-O-G-Z, which stands for Dirty OGs. 
And uh, that's out right now on iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play and all that good shit. Yes, sir. There it is. Cocaine. So, much love, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Rare the blue. Chilling with my homeboy, g Lo. That's what it do. We stay on point, let's say she You. <laughs> Classic edition. Thank you to the homie Cocaine. Shout out to my girl Candace McKinney. I see you tuning in. Uh, shout out once again to my girl Nicole. Happy birthday, baby. Many, 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 many more. Much love from the G Lu Show. Happy birthday once again. Shout out to CeeLo who checked in, gave his input. Shout out to my homie Big Flossy. Shout out to Rob Lewis in St. Louis. Uh, shout out to my homies in Japan checking in. Shout out to my homies from Brick City. 
tuning in. Much love to Bricks. Um, coming home in a minute, man. Two weeks. We are gonna broadcast live to Westside Wednesdays live from LA, man. Be on the lookout for that, and be on the lookout for Trady coming up. Who else we got coming up? Sugar Free. We got uh, uh, Darlene Ortiz, the lady behind Ice Ice T, who's on all Ice T's covers and all that. We got Darlene coming up shortly. Also, we got a lot more. We got C Style coming up. A lot of stuff coming up, man. Thank you, everybody, who again who tuned in, tune in to the G Lu Show. Much love and peace. All that shit. We up out of here till next week. Check us out this Sunday on uh, OG Sundays also. We do that. We play the lowrider oldies, man, and all that. Shout out to my homie Big D down there in uh, Florida checking in also, man. Once again, we're going to go into this track we debuted earlier. The new track uh, from Bogart Styles, the homie Fusion, and G. Lou. You know what I'm saying? Produced by Tweed Cadillac. This is That's mine. G. Lou Show. Peace. Ah, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The slang that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that house full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That swag that you got. That's my nigga. I'm original, homie, just like an OG. Started from the bottom, worked my way up to an OZ. Now I'm headed OT, where the birds fly, but I keep a lookout for the plane with my third eye. That's game, homie, served from the curb side. All I spit is flame raps, niggas know I burn rhymes, and I earn mines, cuz paid hella dues. From the fresh fest shows to the crush groove, I'm like Sun Tzu, so that means I mastered this. Or the war flow, so that means I'm hazardous. To a whack nigga self, put them back on the shelf. Blue dickies with a rag to the left. That's G shit coming from the west side. I'm a brick city boy, so I got a rep mines. To the next time we meet, G's up, G Lou in the pimp lane, doing too much. The car, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels, the kitchen to the room. That's my nigga. The slang that you drop, the money that you got, the watch that you rock. That's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that house full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That swag that you got, that's my nigga. Give it up for them niggas, it's still original. Nowadays all these niggas doing is stealing flows. I built my life on hip hop, I take it personal. If I could fire ten of you niggas, you be the first to go. You want original niggas, be looking pitiful. Every time I spit my flows, I leave them critical. My love for hip hop is unconditional, so you need to pack your bags, get your shit and go. I kick a flow to make a crackhead, kick the dub, kick a flow. Why you bitch ass niggas kissing hoes I strike a pose while you copycat striking now Cause a nigga keep it real Don't nobody like me now So fuck around and you gon' bring a real viking now I'm too much so I give him just a right amount I lost too many fakes, too many to count So if you looking for them bitches, check the loss of fam The car, the shoes, the clothes, the jewels The kitchen to the room That's my nigga The slang that you drop The money that you got That watch that you rock That's my nigga Weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that house full of hope. That's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not. That's why that you got. That's my nigga. Trap life suck, the food's manufactured, and it lip service traction don't match with your ass. Got a truck full of choppers and a house full of raw. Don't converse with the enemy, nigga, that's law. Who been learning you niggas wrong? Maybe it's my fault for giving passes back then. I shouldn't have let them walk. Now my youngest and nephews, they all mixed up from a radio playlist. That's all fixed up Pushing garbage on them Now they figure this what it is Homosexual propaganda Laced with showbiz Flipping Tupac soldier life To dump down dunk Gorillas in the field In the sideshow monk That gang you claim Ain't about the people Fuck you Bypassing the protocol The truth stuck to Like the Apollo in Harlem We saying man Your whole act Put Bogart Styles And Tweet Caddy on the track huh? The car, the shoes The clothes, the jewels The kitchen to the room That's my nigga The slang that you drop, the money that you got, that watch that you rock, that's my nigga. The weed that you smoke, the rhymes that you wrote, that house full of hope, that's my nigga. You think that you hot, the streets say you not, that swag that you got, that's my nigga. Man, look out the window, man. You don't see us out here, nigga, we here to collect all that. Bogart Styles, Fusion, G. Lou, that's my
my nigga. We can't like, nigga. We here to get all that back. Hope you didn't think you got away with that. You want to be skinny jean wearing. That's my nigga. Come outside, nigga. Come outside, nigga. There it is, the G. Luke Show, Westside Wednesdays. We up out of here. We're going to sign off with the homie Trey D. His new album is coming out this Friday, the third coming. Make sure you pick that up, man, the return of G shit. This is featuring the homie O.T. Genesis and uh, Coney Yak from Doggy's Angels. Peace and love, the G. Luke Show. Much love to my homie Rob Lewis and the Lou. I see you, homie. Peace. Candace, what up? Happy birthday, Nicole. Call me Yak on the track. <laughs> like that. Killers in the blow lows, niggas flip coco ride on the popo. Always been loco since about photo. Straight from the east side, I'll to dodo. Check my credentials, they one solid. Hard in the pain, and it ain't no stopping. Plug like a socket, rap game rock. Y'all don't talk about it while I get things popping. Fuck y'all pockets, I got accountants. Working at the hours, and they still keep counting. Still keep counting, still keep counting. Ice cube, greedy nigga can't do without me. Brand new pieces. Whip game decent, that's double line time great for the season Y'all tryna keep up, we just gon' heat up Me and OT so she can't see us Don't end up with backs down and boots up We stay down and moved up Don't end up with backs down and boots up We stay down and moved up Don't end up with backs down and boots up Just do a kick, all of my niggas is lit I'm 45 on my hip, glass for the click You try to ride with your click, then you go die with your click Stay with a click, I do not play with this shit I got a case in this bitch, straight from the street Everything here rough, like it on shape in this bitch Start a plug, gotta go meet up Start a plug, gotta go re-up OC move that muscle OC fucking hustle Ain't really want no 9 to 5 but I got a motherfucker 9 to 5 yeah. Nigga Gardner, I'm trying to get my trees up Run it up, Jenny, I'm trying to get the keys up Don't end up with backs down and boots up We stay down and moved up Don't end up with backs down and boots up We stay down and moved up Don't end up with backs down and boots up We stay down and moved up Solid's how I'm cuffing the roots, yeah, I ain't trying to branch out Running hot on the block, I'll pass it to with them cans out How it wavy like a parade, see them niggas fan out How they ran dumb on the land, rock yeah, they stand out Grind, got no patience like the doc, quick McGowan brick Stacks for the slam, if demanded, etiquette standard Get on my money, how I live, get my plans up Gold driven, still included, yeah, patrol with no limits They act up, shots taken like a drone spitting No clone fitting, call me yak in this flow spilling Living your life cutthroat You gotta be so cold Yeah, you're a natural Alexa, play Imagine Dragons Okay Cause you're a natural I did it out of stone You gotta be With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need Get access to over 50 million songs Download the Amazon Music app today Alexa, play Whitney Houston. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get access to over 50 million songs. Download the Amazon Music app today.